winter Travis Rice asked me super random and last minute to um, go on a trip with him and yeah I pretty much dropped everything and did what I could to, to get on the trip and anytime you go on a trip with Travis you kind of you kind of just got to put your fear aside and just kind of get get ready for whatever because you know he's gonna hit some next level stuff so we were in the zone for uh, maybe three weeks last year and uh, honestly it, it really wasn't that great. You know we got a little bit of snow uh, for a couple days but uh, for the most part it was pretty thin and uh, we had this long stretch of, of sunny days and um, the snow was just basically getting worse and worse uh, as, the, as the days were going on. So the night before we decided that we were just going to send out one crew to go out and scope and uh, look for some stuff and if they found something then uh, then they would radio in the rest of the rest of us to come out and shoot. We were flying around and went to this one zone and um, we flew over this jump. And Travis and I both kind of looked at each other and were like, did you see that? It was like just this all time, just natural, like takeoff to this, this huge landing. It was like this, basically just a massive step down. And we were kind of like, you know, we should probably land and check that out. And we got on top of it and it like looked totally doable. And then we rode down from the side and looked at it and it was just like, looked massive. And like, I was like, dude, this thing's pretty gnarly. The helicopter set down and I packed up all my stuff and I, I, uh, I looked over the edge and I was like, well, I'm gonna go down to the left, stay far away from, uh, from the jump so I don't uh, get any tracks in the, in the frame. And then I was just gonna hike from underneath it, come back, uh, you know, on the flats in a, in a boot pack, and um, and shoot from there. So uh, it took me about 20 minutes, I guess, to get into place. And uh, just as I was set up, a helicopter came and brought down one of the filmers and his assistant and all their all their gear, and landed way to the left of me, which confused me because usually we we agree on where the best spots are, and because they didn't land near me, I thought maybe I was you know, mis miscommunicating with what, what was really going to happen, you know, on this jump. So, uh, you know, I'm looking through the camera, I'm like, I think this is good. I think this looks big. You know, I think, you know, I think that's where they're taking off. I think this is where they're landing. You know, it was still really unaware, but you know, I, I guess I just sort of stuck with it and, and thought, well, it's too late now. And, and hopefully my, my first decision is the right one. Travis hit that thing first and said it was good to go snow was good and yeah i hit it next and kind of just you know put all all the emotion everything aside and just kind of gave her <laughs> so uh yeah with the radio three two one dropping and air comes flying over this exactly where i expected him landed exactly where i thought he was going to and it was you know one of the biggest jumps i've ever seen if not the biggest um super stoked to be there and, and capture that shot and I just remember holding down the button and you know my heart just sort of sunk and I'm thinking yes yeah we're nailing this yeah man like I am so hyped to have a trans world cover never had one before was definitely on the list of goals to accomplish in my snowboard career and um, yeah man it's definitely a huge honor and I'm just so thankful for everybody that was able to contribute to make that happen so thank you Transworld, thank you scott surface thank you travis for the opportunity to go ride and um yeah be a part of the the new project